Okay, and this is the video that I promised about spindles that I have made. So I'm just gonna go over everything real quick. <laughs> Hi, cat. Yeah, we'll talk to you too in a minute. Oh. Mm hmm. Really? <laughs> okay, just, just give me a moment. <laughs> so, when I first got into it, I got the idea of the basic shape of a spindle and uh, some of the basic ideas. And I thought, Aaron, my partner, and I thought, let's go to a, uh, a thrift store, see what we can pull up, what we can make. And we ended up crafting these. And these are from brass candlesticks. And they're really heavy. It's the major downside also. They have their own little quirks. I mentioned in the other video that the uh, the yarn will slip off on this sometimes, so I'm going to need to attach something probably to the underside that just gives it a little bit of flare on the edges so that yarn will catch against it. These ones are kind of nice. They unscrew, which makes it a lot easier to pull yarn off of them and change out what they're doing. I have a couple of ends like this so I can put two ends together on this one and then ply off of them. So it's kind of nice. It's another one that my partner made. This cool little vase thing. It is super pretty. It is super nice for plying. It hangs really well and it just looks super good. Um, better for thicker yarns. It doesn't doesn't do super fine very well because, like I said, these are brass and they're quite heavy. So after that, I wanted to do something pretty fine. I figured I needed to make something pretty light. So I folded up a bunch of wire and wove this little guy. Kind of looks like a space station. Uh, and it's uneven because yeah, it's my first one. But it spins okay, and once it's actually going, it just kind of keeps rolling just fine. Which is almost surprising given how wobbly and uneven it is. It does catch fiber because of the texture on it. So it's got this little plug at the top and bottom that I'm probably never getting rid of. It's kind of okay. It's very, it is fairly light. I haven't weighed it, but I've spun silk on this and it seemed to work okay. Um, there's another one using a similar shaft design that I'm going to show a little bit of here in a minute. But it's got all the, the little bits and bobs that kind of make a drop spindle. In our continuing experimentation, we combined a couple of ideas and came up with uh, this fancy device which is a little hard to tell what's going on but these are lights and when you spin them and it goes so we'll turn the lights off here and show, while it's spinning it kinda makes patterns and the different lights have different patterns and you can get all kinds of fun stuff out of them this one also comes apart so that you can move um, thread on and off of it. It's a lot lighter than the brass ones, which is really nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Kind of like how that turned out. We'll be refining the design and making a more awesome one. Even more awesome one, I should say. And that one will have more video later. I mentioned the supported spindle I was making, so... Someone had mentioned putting a bead down at the bottom of the, the wire one. And I started going, and it looks like this one is just going to be a shaft with a point. But it should spin on its point. And it looks like it'll spin okay so far. And it has just been folded wire is how I'm making these. How well that's coming through. You just kind of take the wire 
and you fold it over itself and you get this kind of lanyard weave which if you've ever been to summer camp you've probably made at least a dozen of it's sort of the stereotypical thing and then it's got a little round point that it can spin on and a little weight down here just to kind of keep it grounded so it should be spinning pretty good once it's all made and then I think it'll make a pretty lovely spindle for someone oh thank you yeah I don't know how well you can tell that it is spinning but I'm not giving it a whole lot of twist and it's spinning pretty excellent probably spin better when it's not flailing wire all over the place but it's close Would you? sure okay um, this one is sort of a work in progress um, in our continued like haphazard design um, so this was just a contraption that we found really it was like this little wooden child's carousel and it is now repurposed into what will hopefully hopefully eventually be an effective supported spindle however um, I really think that I need some to find some way to either lathe the tip of this into more of like you would a top or to put a point into it um, oh yes okay so to put a point into it that is I don't know like there I don't want it to be super sharp I see some of these supported spindles that have those like super severe like um, sharp metal bases right now I'm thinking I'll probably just break a bamboo chopstick and drill it and poke it in there and glue it and stuff um, at least for the aesthetic of this one with my my pretty little crystal that it it needs to it needs it needs to stay with soft lines I think um, and that should be good I don't know that it'll work in the long run but it was fun to make kind of magic wand we'll definitely do more on this uh, glow spindle in the future it's also slightly unfinished it definitely needs a coat of paint and I'd like to um, do a more detailed episode about the ins and outs of what what's going on with this rod it's a bunch of different a combination of materials that kind of came from different <laughs> different worlds I suppose <laughs> so a uh, pretty interesting there I will hand it back over okay. um, that's actually I think all I wanted to say for this one so I'm gonna move the camera around there's other stuff like I promised a little earlier I'm gonna I got I got a wheel and I'm gonna show it off and we are gonna learn